What's up, YouTubians? Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to the channel. So on the last video, we started a trailer refresh for camping. It's one of those 4x8 Harbor Freight trailers. We got it sanded down, we got it painted, pretty much ready to start reassembling. Luckily, we got some parts came in. Let's get to the bench, let's get to work. All right, we're gonna try something a little different so you guys get maybe a better view. Uh, I got all the bearings cleaned up. They cleaned up really well, if you can see. Maybe not, I don't know. They cleaned up great. Hardly anything at all wrong with them. So what we're gonna do, is I was waiting on some new grease seals. So those finally came in. We got our bearings pressed. <clears throat> with some good grease coming out through them. Get those in there. We'll go ahead and add a little bit more grease. I know we shouldn't be mixing grease, but hey, whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's similar. Ish. Similar ish. Is that a thing? Oh, that's great. I got one glove and one glove not. That's winter today, guys. I tell you. Oh, that's better. All right, hub's on. We got the bearings preloaded. New cotter pin. Please put a new cotter pin. Don't reuse old ones. They're cheap. Um, got them snugged. Spins decent without being too tight or too loose. So I think we're good. Go ahead and put the dust cap on this side. Put the tire on and go do that side.
Well, there we go. On the ground. That helps. Tires are on, hubs are on. Painted the rims that gray color you saw. I think it'll be all right. Now, I did not mount the fenders yet, only because I didn't know if these would fit with these, and I have not. Oh, yeah, it'll still fit. Look at that. All right, so I guess we gotta clean up those fenders and get those painted too. One of them's bent, so we'll get that one straightened out. But next, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and buy one of those heavy duty jacks for $40 for the front or $30, whatever they are. I'm gonna build a little kickstand. I like a bike or a motorcycle trailer or whatever. So we need to get the tongue on. Let's get that tongue on there. And then we can figure out a little homemade jack stand, kickstand hitch thing. All right, moving on. All right, we got our bolts and pins laid out. So let's go ahead and get this in place. And we'll be Jackson. That was pretty easy. Now we need to get the trouble the trailer level-ish and I'll show you my plan. All right, so here we go. That works. Man, that afternoon sun's really beating in. It's getting hot here in Florida. So we have from the ground up at about 14 and a half inches. So that's how far up we need to be in order to make the trailer level. So what we'll do is I'm gonna make, take like a piece of angle iron, a couple inches long right here, drill a hole through it, weld it to the bottom, and then we'll take a piece of square tube, run it down with like a little foot on the bottom, that way it'll pivot up, pivot down, lock in place, lock up. I think that'll be a lot easier, and not to mention we're using stuff we already have. So I think that's the plan. All right, before it gets too windy and crazy behind me, we'll go ahead and get started on this kickstand idea to hold up the front tongue. So here's what it is. We're gonna have a piece of angle iron mounted to the bottom of the trailer. We're gonna use this one inch pipe, square tube, basically to pivot. And then on the bottom, we'll have like a little foot. So the whole thing will just kinda Drop down in place and we can use a little pin to hold it in place. Let me get to banking it and then you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. We got washer bolt, and a washer here. Go ahead and put our bolt through. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Tight threads. All right, washer and temporary nut. That's gonna allow it to not pivot because I need to cut it down some more. So we can angle this side a little bit. So we'll come in here. We'll take like a 45 right here off this corner. And that will give us just enough room. And then I'll show you next how this is all gonna work together. I kind of took a tad more trimming than I thought, but 
We got our washer bolt. Put that down through there. Washer, temporary nut. I have a lock nut I want to put on that. When we tighten that down. Backwards. It will pivot. I swear. There we go. See? Told you. So this part will get welded under the trailer, and then this part will pivot up and down, give us our kickstand. So now we need to drill a hole here where we can put the pin through. And I'm just using a regular like clevis pin, whatever you want to call it for a hitch receiver. We drill a hole here so when we put it through, it'll keep the leg from falling down. And then also when we drop it, we drill it all the way through and lock it in place. If that makes sense at all. So next up, we're drilling. Well, obviously I decided to ixnay that for now. So let's just go ahead and get the base welded on and we'll get the rest figured out. My bad, not moving. Oh, we need the ground. All right, well, looks straight enough. Let's go ahead and uh, buzz that in. Can you see? I don't know, where are you at? That's <laughs> good enough. Honestly, if that thing gives up and breaks, I swear I will sell everything I own. Eh, not the prettiest on all sides, but it ain't going anywhere. All right, day whatever it is, I don't know, I lost count. I've been working on the trailer here and there as time allows. But as you can see, I got some beautiful weather here in Florida. <laughs> we honestly need the rain. I mean, grass is dying, whatever. Whatever, so we're gonna make do with the best we have today and pray we don't lose power with all this lightning and thunder. So, where we left off is I went ahead and started getting the trailer final assembly on the front tongue, started running the lights a little bit. My neighbor was over chit-chatting with me and realized I wasn't recording. And then something hit me that I realized, I never started cleaning, prepping, priming and painting the back section. <laughs> gonna do this all over again. So I'm not gonna bother bore you with this crap. I'm gonna get this done. Uh, we picked up a sheet of plywood. We're gonna paint that with some like uh, porch patio type paint. So it seals it a little bit better. Freaking plywood got expensive. That's almost double the cost for a sheet of plywood now. Holy crap. All right, enough jibber jabber. I'll bring you back when all this stuff's done. Thank you. 
I started messing around with the lights. And of course, we've got tail light with the tag bracket. What I did is I installed a little three quarter inch LED clearance light. So there's one there, one right there, and one right there on the tongue, somewhere over there. So one, two, three, and then boom, right there is the red one. I'll light up on the side of the clearance light or the tail light, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I went ahead and ran individual ground from the front to the back. The reason I did that is these lights actually require a ground wire. So you got a power wire and a ground wire. They don't ground when you mount them. So I used the weather strip or the heat shrink butt connectors. And I always put a little dab of dielectric grease in there. I don't know why. OCD, not really sure. So then same thing, we got two wires coming out. You got your negative, your positive. And that's about it. So now we're starting on the other side. Uh, we got our pigtail here. We got it heat shrink or the wrap on it. Oh, that's one thing I did do in the back. Just to help hide the wires a little bit, did the same. A little bit of that loom over it. And then it just kind of comes in right there, terminates, done. But at least it helps hide the wires on the outside, make it look a little cleaner. Not sure why you didn't record, but let's move on to side number two. And we'll make this go really, really fast for you because I am tired and beat. We got a break in the rain. Oh, save you some drama on that. This is exciting news. Seriously exciting news. The other side dried, so I flipped it and painted this side. Moving on. That one's done. Light up, so you really don't need me to see. You don't want to watch me do another one, do you? I didn't think so. We'll bring it back.
Oh, there you go. Of course, Mrs. Jawbreaker didn't want me to record her. Sit in the wood up there, but that's what we got. Now we need to go ahead and get it up on in the garage, bolt the plywood down to existing holes. Then for the crown jewel, we go pick up tomorrow. Looking forward to it. This thing should be a little workaholic considering what it is. It is a Harbor Freight trailer for God's sakes. We're not moving mountains. Well, there we go. Everything is done except for the final phase, which we took the Mama Mobile down and we picked up the little missing element that we need for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload it and show you guys kind of the final thing before it starts pouring again. Boom, there we go. Now we have a way to store all the equipment, <clears throat> tent, sleeping bags, all that stuff in there. Still have room for a cooler in the center because it's big cooler and usually has 40, 50 pounds of ice in it. So it kind of will fit nice right over the axle. Then I'm rooming back for bicycles, mini bike, whatever. So there we go. That is the gist of what we are doing. I think that's gonna turn out quite well and make camping a lot easier. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for checking it out, I appreciate it. If you like what you see, subscribe. To everybody that uh, is always here, appreciate you being here. Thank you guys very much. So until the next one, be kind to one another and be good.